Hi, I am Mashudu and this is my story of how we had a cholera outbreak in our village. Tiny germs of cholera, too small to see, spread through our river system. Then, we did not realize that those fetching water from the river carried cholera back to their homes. Even worse, flies carried cholera on their feet and not washing hands spread it too. The water we drank was infected with cholera and the food we ate, and as a result of unwashed hands, we were carriers as well. And that is where it all started. One morning, I woke up feeling very sick. I had a terrible diarrhea, not the normal one where the color of my stool was okay, but this one had a pale milky appearance. I was vomiting a lot and always felt thirsty. The next day I went to the clinic and the nurse took my stool sample and sent it to the lab at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, an area where they run diagnostic tests to see if I had indeed been infected with cholera. I was still very dehydrated when I was at the clinic and so the nurse made me a special salt water drink to help me with my constant feeling of thirst. At the clinic, the nurse explained to me that not everyone who swallows cholera germs gets sick like me, but one can still spread the disease. She further explained that there are ways I can always try to be safe. Wash your hands with soap and water frequently, especially after using the toilet and before handling food. Drink only safe water, including bottled water or water that you have boiled or disinfected. She added that I must use bottled water even to brush my teeth, and that I must eat food that's sufficiently cooked and hot, and that I must avoid food in unhygienic places if possible. Cholera is one of the notifiable medical conditions. Notifiable conditions are communicable or infectious diseases that need to be reported to the Public Health Surveillance Team at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. Doctors and nurses fill in the NMC case notification form on paper or on the mobile app. All patients with similar symptoms are alerted to the surveillance team at the NICD. A team of experts from the NICD visited our village to investigate if we were having a cholera outbreak. To work out what was causing many people to be sick, they took samples of water and sent it to the laboratory to be tested. They also went to my neighbors and conducted rectal swabs to be tested. A few days later, the NICD team came back to our village and informed us that it was indeed a cholera outbreak. They spoke to the doctors and nurses at our local clinic and left them with guidelines on how to treat patients who show symptoms of or had cholera. They also gave us pamphlets explaining what cholera is, how it spreads, and what to do if you have been infected with cholera. These pamphlets helped us a lot in our village, and hopefully, we won't have another cholera outbreak. After a few months, the investigators from the NICD said that there were no more cholera cases and the outbreak was finally declared over. I am well now, and even though the outbreak is over, I still boil my water and follow the guidelines from the NICD's pamphlet just to be safe. And I'm happy to see that many people in my village and mostly children know that they only need to urinate or defecate in the toilet. I'm very grateful that we have institutions such as the NICD who help communities to detect and control outbreaks. If you would like to know more about the NICD, make sure you visit their website on www.nicd.ac.za.